All right, now that you've built it, you've got all for these buttons green. You need to take a screenshot by pressing that. Let's close that. Now let's open the export path. Um, these are the two uh, pictures we just made. Let's select everything, right click and compress to zip file. The name doesn't matter. Let's go back to Waifu Exporter and let's open the waifuversemod.io. Um, you'll need to log in. Make a log in, make an account for Mod.io if you don't have one. Um, do that up here. And after you've done that, let's add the mod. We're going to call this uh, Miku Test. Swimsuit. Um, I'm just going to type the same thing in here, but for the summary, you should put the source of your model, what features it has, and a detailed description. Chat GPT should be good for writing stuff like that if you give it a summary. Um, we need to add a full A picture and let's find go to our builds folder and select cover one 16 by 9 right there because it's asking for 16 by 9. Perfect. Um, you can add more description here too. It's not necessary. Let's go ahead and save it. Oh, we should also tag it as 3D. Um, save that and let's add now it's it's listed it's not listed it's hidden so let's add a file and let's select a zip file and what we'll select is cover uh, 169 uh, that zip not the image file this is a, a, this is it doesn't matter what the name is but it's the zip file we just made and we'll agree to the terms and let's upload and once that's uploaded we can go to our desktop app um, and if you don't have the desktop app you can go to the Life SDK page uh, and navigate to the itch.io page and you go all the way to download right here you start at the top and go to download and once that's downloaded it'll be right here um, let's we click on that see how this is uploading um, and it's done it's it's visibility is public and now we can view the mod here look at that that's there and let's go ahead and open the desktop app yeah waifu right there double click it and it might give you a pop-up saying saying some sort of warning don't even worry about that let's go to hack i might rename this to options um and let's hit mods and you'll need to find the mod to subscribe to. Um, I've done a couple of tests, so these are the same thing, but we're going to find the mod. We're going to hit subscribe and it'll start downloading. Uh, once it's downloaded, we can hit back, back, go back to hack, and change skin. And this is the right one right here. And we can do whatever, you know, chatting, uh, chatting you need to verify that it works. Verify all right, so some last details for when you're done with the mod. Um, I, ideally, you'll be you would put the zip file in your custom waifu folder so you have it for later. Um, you save everything, and you know you make sure these overrides are, are all applied before you build it. Um, so I have to rebuild that one, rebuild this later. But once you you're done and you need to make another one. Um, you need to go in here and you need to remove all of these. Don't delete them. You have to like uh, turn them off of adjust by one just like that one by one. It's sort of tedious but you know it's not too hard. I'll figure out a solution to make it faster. Um, you also have to remove old builds. What that does is it deletes all the builds in the build folder. Um, once it's uploaded to to mod IO, you can download it again off the page. Um, so I'm just gonna hit remove old builds, and then yep, everything's gone. And then you have a clean slate to make your next build um, and do the whole cycle over again. It's overall pretty quick once you get the hang of it. You can just like bust them out. And there are additional, there's an infinite amount of additional things you can tinker around with to make it better. All right.
let me post in the Discord or direct message me if you have any questions. See ya.